So whenever anybody asks for feedback on a cook in progress, invariably someone's gonna say, if you're looking, you're not cooking. And today I wanna to test to see if that's true. Ideally, I'd have two identical kettles running at the same temperature, cooking the same size chicken, keeping every variable the same, except for one kettle that I'd leave the lid open from time to time, and the other one that I'd keep shut for the entire cook. And unfortunately, chickens come in all different shapes and sizes, and it would be impossible for me to keep all of those variables exactly dialed in to attribute everything back to the idea of lifting that lid. So instead, I'm gonna roast a chicken on a single Weber kettle, and I'm gonna break up the cooking process into two different time periods. Number one, for 15 minutes, I'm gonna leave the lid shut, and we're gonna call that cooking. And then for about a minute, I'm gonna open up the lid and get to looking. And then I'm gonna repeat this period of cooking and looking over and over again until the cook is complete and the chicken is fully done. And you're probably wondering how that proves anything without a control group. So here's what we're gonna look at. We're gonna look at the temperature graph, the slow rise as it cooks, because if there's no impact, that temperature rise within the chicken is just gonna chug right along both before and after opening the lid. But if it starts to slow down, stops, or even dips, then we've confirmed it and we know that opening up the lid impacts the way the cook time goes. And I'm also gonna look at the recovery time, and that is when you open up the lid, you let the heat out, and when you close the lid, how long does it take for the temperature to get back up to that cooking temperature when the lid is shut? I would have liked to use my new wireless meat thermometer because it's super convenient, but this one is much thicker and less responsive to temperature changes than one of my old school thin wired probes. Let me demonstrate. So when I put these probes in the cup of water, the base station responds much quicker on the thin probe when I put it in, and it returns back to normal a lot faster when I take it back out. And that slower response time is actually a pretty big advantage under normal cooks because it helps to average out those changes and fluctuations inside of the cook, so the data that you're getting is a really good picture of what's happening. But for this test, I needed something that was super responsive, so I'm gonna fall back to my old school probes. As I was conducting this experiment, I had one really big surprise, and that was when you lift the lid, you let in a whole bunch of air into the coals, which can stoke it and raise the temperature up, so that way when you close the lid, that temperature spikes inside of the kettle, and that might overcome the difference of opening the lid altogether. That's pretty similar to the idea where you open up the vents to let more air in, and that'll increase the temperature in the kettle, or if you close them up, It'll reduce the air and drop the temperature inside. And when that minute was up and I shut the lid, it still took another three to four minutes for that temperature inside of the kettle to get back up to the original cooking temperature. And I was counting on that spike to overcome the heat loss from opening up the lid. But as you look at the graph, when I opened up the lid, the temperature rise inside of the chicken slowed down to a crawl for several minutes afterward even after the temperature got back up to normal within the kettle. So you should get yourself a really good thermometer that you can use when the lid is shut, because if you're looking, you're not cooking. And if you like this test, you should check out this video where I test six different kinds of charcoal to see which one is best.